Welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced English Grammar course. This lesson is on spelling words involving final consonants and final and silent e's, including final e's. Let's get started. All right. We begin, as always, with a brief lesson overview. We're going to talk about the rules of doubling final consonants and the rules of dealing with final e's in words, including silent e's. Then we're going to do a little practice. You're going to figure out which words are spelled correctly. And we're going to end, as always, with a list of ways to improve your spelling. All right, doubling final consonants. Here is the problem. English uses the Roman alphabet. The Roman alphabet had, the Roman language, Latin language, had its own set of plurals and rules for adding suffixes and things like that. And they don't work so well when you attach those to English words. So we had to come up with all kinds of crazy spelling things to get us to pronounce words correctly in English because we were using someone else's alphabet. One of those problems arises when we have final consonants. English adds suffixes, new endings, to words in order to alter their meanings. Words with single consonants as their final letters can be a problem here. Thus, we double the final consonant before adding a suffix under certain circumstances. Why is it a problem? Because if we don't double the final consonant, very often that means that the final vowel in the word suddenly becomes long and it sounds really strange. I'll demonstrate. You begin, uh, you uh, double the final consonant bef uh, before adding a suffix when the suffix begins with a vowel. So ing, ed, age, er, ence, ance, and al. So, for example, hit becomes hitter because without the t it would be heiter and then everyone would be confused. Occur, occur becomes occurrence, stop becomes stoppage, and run becomes running. Again, because if you didn't double the N, then it would be R-U-N-I-N-G, and then you are ruining or writing, or writing in an ancient Norse script. And then everyone just gets confused. Rule number two, the last, you do, you do this when the last syllable of the word is accented and ends in a single consonant preceded by a vowel sound. So, begin becomes beginning. Begin, gin, is the emphasized word in, be, emphasized syllable in begin. And if you got rid of that N, it would suddenly become beguining. Very confusing. Similarly, incur becomes incurred, and remit becomes remittance. Doubled consonant in each case. 